In this session, I'd like to show you the how to get the internal energy. So first one is the internal energy of simple classical gas. So internal energy can be calculated. 1 over rho and the integration of the epsilon and the distribution functions. This is the distribution function. You multiply the distribution functions and then find the average values. So for the epsilons, we only consider the ions or electrons. So kinetic energy can be expressed as p square over 2m. And distribution functions, for the case of the classical gas, we use a Maxwell distribution. Then we could perform the integrals using the Gaussian integrals. Then it becomes 3 over 2 nkt's. So nkt is equal to the p. So this is going to be p pressures of the simple classical gas. So internal energy of simple classical gas can be expressed as 3 over 2 times p over rho. Okay, this is a case of the, the gas particles has a Maxwell distribution and the energy is expressed with a classical kinetic energy p square over 2 m. Then we'd like to find out the internal energy of completely degenerate gas. So instead of the Maxwell distribution, we could use the distribution functions for the degenerate gas. So I have explained this NP dp is expressed two times two comes from the number of spins, up spin and down spin, times 4 pi p square over h cube times dp. And then you can substitute. Energy is a p square over 2 m. Then you could perform the integral. This integration might be uh, easy, easier than the integrations over the Maxwell distribution. The answer is exactly the same. Actually, the internal energy is expressed as 3 over 2 times the pressure divided by the density. So answer is exactly the same. Then we'd like to take into account relativistic effect. In the relativistic energy and the momentum can be expressed. Energy is a mc square over square root 1 minus v over c squares. And the momentum is a mv over square root 1 minus v over c squares. So using the, these equations, we could express the energy. And this is another expression. Energy squares, e square equal p square c square plus m squared, we can derive this equation from using the, these two equations. Then we'd like to find that the internal energy of the relativistic completely degenerate gas. Internal energy can be calculated. Same equation we can apply. But now energy, we use an expression for the relativistic energy. For the relativistic energy is uh, squared. In this case, uh, in the last slide, I show the e squares. So take a square root. It becomes p square c square plus m square c to the fourth. We have to subtract. This is less energy. Then, so this epsilon means is a kinetic energy. We'd like to find that kinetic energy. You have to subtract. So in this case, the P is much larger than the MC. Then we can express that this is nearly equal to the PC. Then you can substitute this PC into the, this energy, kinetic energy of epsilon. Still have the same distribution function for the degenerate gas. Then you could perform the integrals. Then, actually the equation is very similar. Actually the uh, internal energy is expressed uh, pressure divided by the density. But the coefficient is changing from the 
three over two to the just only three. When this is a coefficient is changing, but the expression is very similar. It's pressure divided by the density. This is the internal energy of a relative stick completely degenerate gas. Then finally, we would like to find out the internal energy of radiation, internal energy of photons. Again, we use the same equations. For the energy of our photons, H plan constant times the frequency. And distributions is a Planck distribution. You can use the same distribution. Planck functions we can apply. Then substitute. Then we discover similar integrals. Then answer is becomes a three times the P radiations, pressure by photons divided by densities. So this is the internal energy of radiations. Internal energy of the radiation has a exactly the same expression with the internal energy of relativistic completely degenerate gas. Okay, this is the end of this session.